If you're in the market for a new wireless router, most of the models you'll find clearly support both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. We talked about the difference between these two things in this video, but there's still a burning question. Why are we still using the 2.4 gigahertz band, which is much slower than the more modern 5 gigahertz band? To answer, we reached out to our friend Joel Crane, and we'd like to thank him for his contributions. So at first glance, 2.4 gigahertz seems inferior. It has far less available spectrum than 5 gigahertz, which means less bandwidth and more interference from other devices. And the 5 gigahertz band's minimum connection speed is 6 megabits per second compared to just 1 megabit per second for 2.4. These minimum speeds are often deliberately used for management overhead, such as a smartphone acknowledging to the router that it did in fact receive a data packet. And devices that talk more slowly consume more time on the channel, further limiting throughput. So what's the deal? Well, first of all, there are still lots of client devices out there that only support 2.4 gigahertz. Older devices, lower end gadgets, and Internet of Things or IoT products are notorious for this. And as with many things in life, cost is a big driver behind this, as we've been making 2.4 gigahertz devices for a lot longer, and it's less complicated to stick a 2.4 gigahertz radio inside cheap electronics. By contrast, 5 gigahertz radios nearly always have a 2.4 gigahertz radio in them as well to ensure backward compatibility, meaning that a 5 gigahertz device is more complicated to manufacture. So even if the cost is only a few cents more per unit, that can quickly add up to a lot of money if a manufacturer is shipping millions of smart doorbells or whatever. And on the subject of smart doorbells, there just isn't any reason for many IoT devices to use the 5 gigahertz band, as the smart light bulb in your bedroom, for example, doesn't require an incredibly fast connection to receive the command to change from red to blue. There's even a practical advantage to this by placing low bandwidth devices such as IoT products on your home network's 2.4 gigahertz band and everything else on your 5 gigahertz band. You can cut down on interference and increase throughput on your 4K streams and other more data hungry operations that way. However, some products that could actually benefit from 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi actually still don't have it. You see, it's common for manufacturers of products where connectivity isn't the main focus to simply tell their designers, hey, we want Wi-Fi in this thing. And the company will proceed to order the cheapest radios they can find that will simply work, which often means devices will end up with 2.4 only support because the manufacturer doesn't know any better. You sometimes see this with products like gym equipment, where the brand is more concerned about ensuring that the pedals on the elliptical don't collapse rather than about whether the built-in screen can deliver lag-free 1080p video playback. But there's another important reason that doesn't have anything to do with manufacturers being cheap and lazy. Range. Although 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi has many advantages, 2.4 still beats it in terms of range. It can go farther and is better at dealing with pesky obstacles such as walls. Again, this is important for IoT devices as well as industrial applications, meaning that not only is 2.4 gigahertz still popular for Wi-Fi, it's also still used for Bluetooth and smart home protocols such as Zigbee. The last thing you want is for your smart coffee maker to forget to start brewing when you wake up simply because it's too far from your router. A real modern tragedy. So even though 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi has become less common in certain situations, places like stadiums and conventions are more frequently turning it off due to interference, its combination of cost effectiveness, range, and backwards compatibility means that it will still have a home in our gadgets for quite some time. And older, doesn't always mean it's worse. Just ask Finch from American Pie. Wow, I'm old. That's an old reference. If you're running a small business, you've got to check out FreshBooks. It's a cloud accounting solution specifically built for small businesses. You can get paid up to four days faster with FreshBooks and create and send professional invoices in just 30 seconds. Setting up online payments is a breeze and you can even see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. And right now, FreshBooks is offering an unrestricted 30-day free trial. So just go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, get subscribed, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit us up in the comments with your suggestions for videos that we should cover in the future.